Physical model of threshold expansion to explain the dynamics of riots in calderas with application to Campi Flegre. Many calderas exhibit extraordinary fluctuations, which often do not result in eruptions. When a riot occurs, a ventilation opening process occurs which leads to an eruption. In calderas, vent sites are usually spread over a large area and form a monogenic cone. The resulting pattern is characterized by a wide distribution of eruptive vents, therefore future vent locations are not easy to predict. We propose an interpretation of deformation related to the unrest and ventilation patterns commonly observed in calderas, based on physical models that simulate sill intrusion and extension. This model can explain the occurrence of uplift and subsequent subsidence of the land surface through one process. Given that pressure primarily controls the vent opening process, we tried to gain insight into vent opening in the caldera through the study of the stress fields generated by the expanding sill intrusion. We find that tensile stresses in the rock above the sill are concentrated at the edge of the sill in a ring-shaped area with a radius that depends on the physical properties of the magma and rock, the feeding rate, and the cooling rate of the magma. This pressure field is consistent with widespread eruptive venting and monogenic cone formation, which is often seen in calderas. However, by considering the elastic plate mechanical properties in magma rheology, we show that the extraordinary deformation may be related to low stress values in the rocks at the top of the intrusion, resulting in non-eruptive unrest. Additionally, we find that, assuming isothermal conditions, the stress values decrease with time during the intrusion process. These results may explain why long-term unrest, in general, does not lead to eruptions. The proposed approach concerns general processes and can be applied to many calderas. In particular, we simulated vertical displacements as they occurred in the center of the Campi Flegre caldera over the last decades, and we found good agreement with flatness benchmark data near the center of the caldera. Calderas typically exhibit strong ground deformation with episodes of uplift followed by subsidence, extraordinary geothermal activity, and seismicity characterized primarily by earthquake waves. In volcanic environments, accelerated ground deformation, gas release, and seismicity are generally interpreted as triggers for eruptions. An example is the non-eruptive unrest in Italy's Campi Flegre caldera in 1968-1970 and 1982-1984 which was accompanied by significant variations in monitoring parameters but was not followed by an eruption. In particular, in recent decades, Campi Flegre has shown a total rise of more than 3 meters accompanied by a subsidence of the land surface. This behavior sparked a long debate whether the deformation was caused by hydrothermal or magma migration. Recently, new technologies have enabled improvements in volcano monitoring and generated valuable datasets of geophysical observations and measurements. Improved monitoring of these volcanoes allows us to increase our knowledge of caldera behavior. In particular, he concluded, if it is known that the root of the riot problem is always magmatic in nature. Although external earthquakes or hydrothermal processes can increase unrest, no unrest is of purely hydrothermal or tectonic origin. Magma always appears as an important element, although in many cases it can also cause changes in the hydrothermal system thereby supplying fluids and energy. Additionally, in many cases, the structure of shallow piping systems and dynamic processes in the caldera are consistent with emplacement of sill-like magma intrusions. 
Typically sill intrusions are modeled as increased pressure in horizontal cracks causing deformation and uplift of the soil. After the intrusion ends, land uplift should be permanent, but in the caldera land subsidence often occurs which is usually caused by other processes such as area expansion or compaction of porous material caused by reduced pressure in the hydrothermal system. We have adopted an alternative model capable of explaining land surface uplift and subsidence within the framework of a single process of threshold intrusion and spreading. This model is basically governed by the feeding rate, magma rheology and mechanical properties of the rock above the intrusion. However, we do not exclude that the release of magma gases could contribute to deformation processes, especially in the felsic caldera.